Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a closer look at Raftalia from the anime series The Rising of the Shield Hero and manufactured by the company Kotobukiya. Uh, if you guys haven't watched the anime yet, I highly recommend watching it. It is about, or it's an isekai about a person named Naofumi who gets transported to another world, you know, isekai. And Raftalia was his first partner. She is the main damage for the team and she is indispensable. She is Naofumi's sword, he is the shield, etc. so on and so forth. Kotobukiya is known for making quality figures, so I'm hoping that this is the same um, quality-wise as a majority of the rest of their figures. Anyways, that is the box art. It is pretty cool, depicts a lot of what the anime has to offer, and without further ado, let us unbox Raftalia. Alright, here is what she looks like in the blister. Uh, she's already mounted on the base as we can see here, but covered in a ton of plastic, ton of protective plastic. And under that we have her tail and the two swords she comes with. <laughs> Okay, she is completely out of her box and assembly isn't too complicated. Uh, first, let's put on her tail. It does have a metal peg, it just goes straight into this slot right here all right and afterwards she does have an option of two different swords i do like her spirit sword the best so that's what i'm going to use you just put it through her hands and there you go fully assembled <laughs> Alright, most important part of the video, the close-ups. Wow, the detailing we immediately see is amazing. Her mana sword is also really well crafted, and I do like how like it is translucent by the clover portion. Uh, they did use different shades of certain types of colors in different portions of the figure to give it depth, which is always A plus with me. Uh, the base is amazing. It's extremely, extremely detailed. Sculpt work is awesome and I do love how the way uh, the hair flows, it gives it a very animated feel and <laughs> look at the balloon, that's hilarious. It's like, it's in pain. Oh no! Do you like how it's differentiated by them using a glossy paint? Here's a side view. Really nice, really detailed. And there's the balloon. Very animated. And her armor is also very, very well sculpted. Uh, the hair, again, flows. I do love the detailing that they put with the hair and the tail. It's awesome and the rocks on the base i do like how the way i do like the way it like goes over the edge it's pretty cool <laughs> yeah i honestly don't have much more to say other than that kotobukiya did exceed uh its normal quality in production anyways there you have her Raftalia from Shield Hero. Alright, as usual, I'll give the positives and the negatives 
on my take of this figure. Um, I believe that Kotoba Kia knocked this one out of the park. For the quality that you get, you do get probably one of the best figures that they have manufactured. They went above and beyond with this one. It's amazing. And if you guys haven't watched Shield Hero yet, I do highly suggest that you guys watch it. It's an amazing anime and it's getting a second and a third season. Anyways, if you guys want to support this channel, I'd appreciate it if you shared this with family, friends, or social media. It'll really help. And uh, leave a comment down below. I do love reading your guys' comments and inputs on these videos and on my channel. Anyways, if you guys liked this video, I'd appreciate a like, a subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.